Welcome to my build of this, uh, this patterns plate, sporter, uh, whatever you like to call it. Um, it's uh, a really exciting build for me. It's um, just over uh, 1.5 meter wingspan, 60 inches, and it takes a 0.6 or 60 um, engine. It's going to be really good. It's got these lovely tapered wings, and for me, the thing that really drew me when I was looking for plans was I wanted something with a really sleek fuselage which tapered with a nice turtle neck coming back from the, um, uh, from the canopy. So, and also I wanted something without a kind of a plastic nose cowl, but something that kind of just tapered down like this one does, uh, just tapers down into the, the, uh, the spinner. And this fits exactly what I wanted. Um, I'm going to make a few changes to it, but, but it's great plans. Um, I got the plans from um, Outer Zone, and if you look in the description below this video, I'll provide a link to it. Um, so I'm going to be building this over the next few weeks, um, and, uh, and I hope you'll follow me um, and, and see how we get on. Um, the plans, they're, they're very detailed. I think they've got everything that I need. Um, they've got all the, the profiles for the wings and the formers for the, uh, for the fuselage. As with all plan builds, it's something that you, you really need to think about to, to see how the detail is and how everything goes together. Um, but what's really useful um, is, is up here they've got the nose section broken down into a, a, a 3D view so you can really get to grips with, uh, with how it's constructed. Um, the plans are from 1974, um, from an old magazine, and if you have a look at the download on Outer Zone, you'll see there's not only these two pages, but there's the actual colour article from the magazine, which is great because it gives you real insight into how it will fly and, um, and how to build it, you know, the, the, the stages to go through, which is really, really useful. Um, the one thing that I will change, um, I think, I'm still working on it, um, but at the moment there's these two dowels that go through the fuselage and the, the wings are held on with elastic bands. I think I'm going to make it um, a little bit different. I'm going to not use the elastic bands, I'm going, to, um, I'm going to hook it in at the front and bolt it up at the back. Um, but that will need some modifications to the wings and also to make them a little bit stronger because I think the elastic bands probably help uh, with the wings. So, um, I will get on and do this now and if you're interested have a look at the plans and I hope you follow me through this journey building this. Um, I'm really excited, it, it looks, to me it's a lovely shaped plane, just lovely and sleek and I can't wait to, to start building it.